It's been a big summer of sport so far, and like me, if you're feeling inspired, you may be looking to take part in your own sporting challenge. I'll be swimming in the Great Lake here at Blenheim Palace this September to take part in the Swim Britain Challenge. Now, whether you're swimming in the open water or swimming in the pool, getting your technique right can be half the battle. Hi guys, thanks very much for joining me. Today we're going to have a bit of a masterclass on swimming. So it's about open water swimming and a few technique tips to kind of help you prepare for the Swim Britain Challenge. Here are some of my top tips to help you improve your technique so you can perform at your best on race day. Pre-race hydration. Any distance challenges, especially swimming, can be tiring, so drinking regularly can help improve your performance. Diluting any sports drink in water and sipping that on the day of the race will help keep you hydrated, but it's really important to stay hydrated in the days in the lead up to your race. Your technique. Thinking about your technique is all in the preparation. So while you're training, really think about what your hands are doing. It's important to keep your hands together, but you don't want them to be too tense. So you want to be nice and relaxed, but your fingers do want to be together, because that will help you pull the water through and it'll help you go further each time you put your arm into your stroke. And the order that your hand needs to go into the water is your fingers first, then your wrist, and then your elbow. Doing that regularly will make sure that the rest of your arm movement is what it needs to be. Streamline your swim. The most efficient way to swim is to rotate, to rotate around your spine. You don't want your hips to be snaking and you don't want your head to be coming too far out the water. So we're rotating around our body when we're taking our freestyle strokes and that's going to help us really lengthen out our strokes so we can go further. This will help when you breathe because you shouldn't have to move your head too much out of the water to take your breath. Kicking technique. Swimming is dominated by your arms, but don't forget about your legs. You want to make sure that you're kicking from your hips, not from your knees. You want to make sure your ankles are nice and relaxed and you're pointing your toes. This will help keep your legs up and keep you more buoyant for your swim. Keep calm and carry on. The most important thing for the day is to enjoy yourself. Go out there and have fun. Take a deep breath before you start and go for it. If you need to take a little breather while you're swimming, just do some breaststroke or tread some water for a while. So those are some of my top tips when preparing for a challenge, but you can get more tips and advice from the Swim Britain training app. If you want to get involved in Swim Britain, head to swimbritain.co.uk.